My name is Michaela Botin. My name is Jason Ackerman. And these are the do's and don'ts. For blackouts. Yay! Blackout tattoos taking, uh, it could be cover up, it doesn't necessarily have to be, but it's taking a very large chunk of skin and just making a nice solid field of black or hash, it's just blacking something out, a large field of skin. For me, it started as a necessity because it was a cover up. And then I see more and more people lately getting it. And I honestly think it's cool. Like cover up or not, if it's, if, you know, if it's well done, it's actually it's beautiful. <laughs> it is. Yeah. It, like, it was something when I started tattoo and people were doing like smaller versions of blackout stuff and I remember being very critical of it, like thinking that's tattoo suicide. But now like as I've grown as a human and, and realized kind of the thoughts behind it, even with what I want to do with myself, it's, it's very, it's a beautiful thing. So first off, when you do a normal, like I don't want to call it normal tattoo, but when you do like uh, a design, Let's say you got the way I work. I do small line first, medium line second, and then I do bold outlines, black shading, and then I go with the color, and then I go with the white. Which means that in a, in a piece, however big it is, I go over, over the same area sometimes, countless times. While the way this was done for me, it was more like a printer. You start somewhere and you go, and then you start somewhere and you go. I know there are a lot of people that work like that anyway, mm -hmm. but for me, uh, since I never had a tattoo done that way before, um, that was the thing that made it uh, very, I perceived like as very different. Personally, I felt it was less painful because you know, you don't keep going over the same areas, but you kind of like, you know, work your way. Up or down. Yes, up or down, depending where you go. For me, I think the difference like what she was saying, like when you're doing a piece with the design, you get to do layers. So the saturation is, is, is far easier, in my opinion, doing color, like a color piece, as opposed to doing a, a very yeah. smooth black, and black work. It's very, very difficult to do. It's time consuming. It's, it's very hard to get the same consistency and the same stroke and the same movement in your hand to get that nice, especially if you're doing like just solid black. It's very time consuming and yeah. that's, that's something that people need to understand. There are some people out there that'll take, put a 45 mag on and rail you through it quick, but it's, it's a time consuming thing. Yeah. Don't think that because it's just black, it's easy. No, it's harder. It's actually far harder uh, than, than anything. Yeah. I think having a solid saturation in a big amount of, and in a big area, it's one of the hardest thing to do. Uh, you know, without hurting the skin or, you know, being consistent. So that's definitely a don't. So because I have been asked this uh, a few times, I actually asked Valerio about it so that I know that I'm not spreading rumors or false information. And what he told me, and I have the messages, is that the it's not something done to create pain of people. He says the Brutal Breaks project is an opportunity that they give to like passionate body art collector to go through a path of inner transformation through a ritual of like tribal tattoo recreated under a modern, more modern uh, key. I, I just translated from Italian, so I don't know if the, trans, the translation is correct, but that's what he said. As I said, I got tattooed by Valerio. For me, it was a great experience. It was painful. It was very fast. And I remember the first time when I went to have a consultation with him, he actually told me, so when, uh, when I'm actually gonna tattoo you, it doesn't matter if you're in pain or not. I'm gonna start, I'm gonna finish what I started and it doesn't matter. Um, and I was like, yeah, uh -huh, whatever. And then the day came and he wasn't joking. Even though I was in pain or stuff like that, it just kept going until it finished. It wasn't a bad experience. I didn't feel disrespected anyhow. Like, uh, he is a character and, you know, I feel like it doesn't, uh, as I say, it doesn't disrespect you or it doesn't, it doesn't overpower you. That's just the way he does, but it still makes you feel comfortable, you know, in a comfort zone. 
I got tattooed by Valeria multiple times and eventually it got more and more like flexible with me. So, you know, there were points where like, you know, sometimes you just don't feel like doing big session. Maybe I would quit halfway through and he would totally respect it. He did some cover ups for me and, um, you know, uh, some of them were actually the cover up itself was made was was meaningful, you know, uh, and the factor that you would create uh, the, the, the pain it would give to me, it was almost like because you're getting rid of something, it was, especially that there was this one tattoo that I really wanted to cover. So the fact that that, that pain really felt like uh, refreshing somehow, I know it sounds very weird, but I don't know. I almost feel like, you know, you got a tattoo that you didn't want anymore. So you're kind of like getting, getting rid of it and the pain is okay. Uh, I know he's very criticized very criticized. I cannot say anything bad about him, to be honest. I'm happy with what I got on me. As I said, I didn't feel disrespected. I didn't feel that it was about the pain. I would say do 100% sure that that's what you want on, yeah, on your body. Absolutely. Once you do it, there's no going back. Yeah. I think you should not follow a fashion. I feel like it is cool, but at the same time, it's scary once you have it, and a lot of people don't get it, yeah, it changes including everything. including my mom. My mom is awesome, but she's like totally fine if I get a tattoo, totally not cool if I get some blackout done, because for her, she's like, what is this? You know, then it's not a tattoo for her. She for her is like. Yeah, this is work. weird. When I started doing it, you know, I wasn't living with them. So she saw me when I had big chunks done. She thought there was something wrong with me. <laughs> she thought you, there is something wrong with you. Like, I, she thought so. And I guess a lot of other people don't understand it. People that don't have tattoos or, or whoever. So as a person that have it, you're going to have a lot of people that is going to tell you what's the meaning of that. Why did you do that? Is it a cover up? Like. I don't understand it. So you have to be 100% convinced because otherwise, you know, in the beginning, it's gonna be okay. But what, after like, you know, 20 people in 10 days ask you why and like, look at you like, nah, you're gonna regret it. If you, it, you yeah, you might regret it. But you, if you like it, if you love it, you're never gonna regret it. I don't regret any. No. Do what the tattoo artists tell you to do. Like, don't listen to your friends. <laughs> a lot of people don't know about second skin. So second skin, you keep it on for a few days. And you don't even know how many people with their first tattoo come back and they told me, oh, I didn't keep it on because my friend told me that I shouldn't keep it, I shouldn't keep it wrapped for that long. And I'm just like, I told you something different, you know? Like, don't listen to your friends that are not expert. Listen to your tattoo artist. Depending on the tattoo you get, depending on the tattoo artist you, you, you choose, everybody has their own healing uh, routine. Follow that one to the ABC. Mm -hmm. Yeah, like my color work, the only way it heals good, a little bit of A and D ointment. If you go straight to lotion, it just chunks up. So like artists know how their work heals, listen to them. And I think the aftercare on those tattoos is as important as the session itself. Absolutely. So I would say definitely do not take it lightly or do not think. A lot of people do that. And I see it with my clients that once the tattoo session is over, then the tattoo is done. Their job done. is done. They don't have to do yeah, no, else. actually the aftercare is as important as the tattoo session. If the tattoo heals bad sometimes, it's not my fault or the artist's fault. If you don't take care of it, if you go sunbathe the day after, if you go in the swimming pool, whatever you do is going to have an impact on, on your tattoo. So it's definitely important to, to have a good healing. Take good care of it.